scientist find a consensus of experiment that says one thing, you're going to run to the five percenters and then give them 50% of the time. So that the public thinks that it's a 50-50 toss-up about what is agreed upon and what is not. So there's a delusional, delusional force operating on what the public thinks is going on on the frontier of research. And so that's a problem. It's a problem, and it's the beginning of the end of America. I mean, I, I don't, I'm sorry to say that, but once you take out the foundation of what we know and how science works and put some kind of suspicious doubt where there is none, the people are not understanding what science is and how it works and what we do know and the real stuff that we don't know. They're not actually learning that. And so you will, Tennessee will not be the source of the next generation of scientists and engineers if that spreads throughout the school system. Now, we live in a free country, and the government, the federal government, does not have a say in local education because it does not appear in the Constitution. Anything that does not appear in the Constitution is what? It's, 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 a, it's the purview of the states. That's what we kind of all bought into as American citizens. So, so legally, the government, the, yes, the National Science Foundation can put up a, a lesson plan and say, we recommend this, but you don't have to follow it. You'd have a school board vote it out. That's kind of what it is to be in America. So what I think might be the strongest force is when companies, high-tech companies, think about moving into a county, and they find out that the school board is teaching things that is not science, they choose to move somewhere else. And then that state loses the jobs. That county regresses economically. That, to me, would be the strongest force to to operate uh, on the future of, uh, of America as a technologically proficient country. Without it, we'll just fade. I mean, these are choices we make in a free society. I will never hit someone, I will not tell the school board how to vote. I will tell you the consequences of voting that way. That's what I'll do. And you vote, you know, it's your own community. That's why I don't like talking to members of Congress. I got, after my book came out on space, I was invited to testify in front of the Senate to tell them how I think NASA money should be spent. And I said, you guys are duly elected by your states, and they're not my states. I'm not going to tell you what you should do. I'm an educator. I will educate the public. Let the public mandate what they want you to do as their uh, duly elected representatives. So that's why I don't like interfering with Congress, even though that's what lobbyists do all the time. But emotionally and intellectually for me, that's the wrong investment of my time and energy.